Hey lovelies! So I'm back with another story time video for you today. So it's no secret that I really wasn't a fan of high school. I didn't really fit in much and I pretty much couldn't wait to get out of that place. Another really shitty part of high school for me was that I was often really sick. So in turn, I missed a lot of classes. This clearly wasn't a fun experience for me and I hated being sick all the time, but my body hated me so what you gonna do? The main part to this story time is how my school and the attendance office handled me missing classes. Now I will totally admit at the beginning of this video, I missed a lot of school like so much school, but this one is really based around one particular incident that happened where I had missed some school and all of this drama happened. This memory really left me so confused and really annoyed that when I look back on it and when I was planning this video, I literally got super irritated all over again. So the story goes, I finally make it back to classes after being sick yet again. I make it to my first period and she informs me that I need to go to the attendance office. All right, I mean, that's always fun getting called into the office and it's super great for anxiety. So I make my way down to the attendance office and I sit there and I wait and I wait and I wait. Like half of my first period has gone by and I'm waiting and finally I'm able to speak to the head of the department or whatever you would call this asshole that I'm going to be talking about. So by the time he pulls me into his office, I've literally missed pretty much all of first period. That's going to be a trend with this guy. He informs me that I've missed a lot of school. No shit, Sherlock. He then begins to tell me about how bad ditching school is, about how I will never graduate if I continue down this path. Now sure, maybe on a normal occasion, this would have been a great conversation to have with a student to really get them into gear so that they graduate on time. But here's the thing. I had already brought in a doctor's note describing how sick I had been and why my absences were excused. And obviously they already had my parents' information and they were claiming that I wasn't skipping school either. And to top it all off, all of my teachers were already aware of the situation and were working with me so I could complete my classwork. I was literally emailing my teachers, explaining about my health and keeping up in class. Like all of my teachers knew this. But this guy, somehow the head of attendance, or really whatever this guy's title was, didn't get the memo that A, I had excused absences, I was extremely ill and my doctor was going to vouch for me, and I was already speaking with my teachers. I had already made up like most of the work that I had missed. I wasn't even technically behind in my classes when I made it back to school. So yes, Mr. Attendance Dude, I would be graduating just fine. So really the whole point of him giving me the big talk about how ditching school was bad was a little pointless on me and maybe if he pulled up my file or read an email or anything he would have known this but no he just decided to dismiss my absences that I was skipping school that I was a bad student bad egg going down the chute with Veruca and honestly this really pissed me off because I did not enjoy missing school I was sick, so that's never fun. Being sick is not a joyous occasion. And then the stress and anxiety of knowing all of the work I was missing, everything I had to catch up so that I continued to pass my classes. It was really, really stressful. This wasn't something that I enjoyed doing. So him really not listening to me and just dismissing me that I was just one of those ditcher kids really pissed me off. He then goes on to tell me that I will be a failure at life if I continue this way. I know what you're thinking. This guy is a perfect dude to be working with children and teens. Now, it gets better. He then tells me that because I have missed so much school, he is going to put me in in-school detention. Now, let me explain that for you. That means you're going to go in an empty classroom during school hours, during my regular classes, and sit there and do nothing because then it will stop me from ditching school sitting in an empty classroom, further missing my classes. L like really dude, like call my doctor, call my parents, call a teacher down the hall. Everyone already knows what's going on except for apparently you. But clearly no doctor's notes, parents phone call or teacher's email was going to convince this guy that I had literally been sick, dying, and I wasn't just skipping class. I suppose I was just labeled as the bad kid and I was going to be stuck in that classroom for a whole week a week of missing a week's worth of more classes. How does that benefit the student? Like a whole fucking week. 
oh, you missed school, so you know how we're gonna punish you? We're gonna make you miss some more classes. Needless to say, there were several people that were very pissed off at this idea of his. My parents weren't too fond of the idea, and that's putting it lightly. Neither were my amazing teachers, who thought his idea was fucking insane. They took the extra steps to contact this guy and talk with him, explain that I had already reached out to them, I was already making up the work, and I had notified them when I was in and out of the hospital. I think at some point he tried to schedule some bullshit conference where he wanted to plead his case about how he was just trying to help me and that I needed to turn away from my bad ways and, you know, start passing my classes, which I was already doing, and start, you know, contacting my teachers, which I was already doing, be a better student, which according to my teachers I was already doing. I don't think that conference ever happened because all of my teachers ended up telling him that I was a good student, I was passing every class, and that my test scores were really high. One of my teachers, who I will always remember as one of my favorites from high school, further stuck up for me and explained that I was coming in before and after school and during lunch to try and make up my work and keep my grades up. I mean, seriously, props to my teachers for this because they were on my side throughout all of this. It was just this fucking attendance guy that couldn't get it through his head that I was sick, that my doctor explained that I was sick, that I had been to the hospital, that I had already made up my work, but no, 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 no. I was just ditching school. I literally knew people in high school that would ditch class to go drinking down the road, and none of them were experiencing the stuff that I was going through. They were getting wasted down the road from the high school, and I'm the bad child that was in the hospital. I guess I was just super special. And sadly, those friends of mine that would go drinking down the road didn't end up graduating with me. So maybe they should have paid attention to them instead of me. I'm really not sure if this guy was just on a power trip or if he just really disliked me, but it really got to be very frustrating. And it pretty much got to the point where my parents were going further up the chain to discuss his behavior towards me. Oh, I remember seeing him in the hallway and he'd be like, good morning, miss, insert my last name here. So glad you could make it today. Good morning, dear douchebag. Have I told you to fuck off yet? This guy actually came to my house one time to inform my parents that I was skipping school again. And my mom was like, no, she's a dying in the other room, but screw you. So it pretty much took speaking to people that were above the douchebag. My teachers supporting me. And one teacher specifically actually brought up that I could take legal action against this guy because of how I was being treated regarding my medical care and so on. She pretty much printed out a whole page of laws that I could throw in his face to leave me alone. Ugh, I hated high school, and that guy seriously did not make it any easier. So, the end of the story is, eventually he did start to leave me alone. Maybe he found another poor soul to annoy, I'm not entirely sure. And I did graduate on time, passing every single one of my classes. Take that, douchebag. It's just such a crazy story when I look back on it, because I never understood how any of his actions were going to help make me a better student. It's a little worrisome that he is allowed to work with students or help students when he was never there to try and help me. He just wanted to stick me in a room and not listen to anything I had to say. I really hope that his method shifted after I graduated or maybe he moved on to a better career for himself. I'm not sure, but I really hope that no one else had to go through what I went through with said douchebag. Moral of the story, never listen to the douchebag attendance guy that told you you would be a failure your life. Continue to kick ass and push through any illnesses or struggles and screw high school.